Previously on Lima Bean TV. Oh. Hey, Carol, this way. I already saw that. Oh, you better stop. Already did that too. Mateys. I want to To the left side, we have a bunch of bushes. <laughs> But past those bushes, we have our lions, hyenas, meerkats, African hippos, porcupines, the Nile crocodile, and a bunch of other cool animals in something called the Edge of Africa. Because they're all the penguins are here. And they're all pointing. Oh, I saw one doo doo in there. I saw one. See that one that's on the rock facing backwards? <laughs> <laughs> Penguins. The African penguins are a warm water species of penguin, which means they actually adore the warm weather of Florida. They're also from the southern part of Africa and are very friendly. To the left and above us, we have the green tracked roller coaster known as Cheetah Hunt. Cheetah Hunt is a launch coaster, launching you three different times and taking you up to speed of 0 to 60 or 0 to Cheetah in a matter of seconds. To the left side, we have a bunch of bushes. <laughs> but past those bushes, we have our lions, hyenas, meerkats, African hippos, porcupines, the Nile crocodile, and a bunch of other cool animals in something called the Edge of Africa. It is a self-guided walking tour that you can enter via the train crossing we are just now passing, or the bridge back at the Nairobi station. On the hill to our right side, we have the white building known as the Serengeti Overlook. The Serengeti Overlook is a three-part dining experience. The bottom half, you can get all your lunchtime items, such as pizza, subs, and sandwiches. The top half is a seasonal fine dining experience. And somewhere in the middle, we have the brand new Giraffe Bar, which is great for anyone ages 21 and older. That's where all the parents go, yay! And with that, we are now entering Egypt. On the right side, we have the giant terrifying snake known only as Cobra's Curse. Cobra's Curse is a one-of-a-kind elevator-operated roller coaster, meaning it will take you up 70 feet into the air via elevator and meet you face to fang with that Cobra icon. Then it'll drop you down forward. At some point, it'll turn you around, drop you down backward, and for the third sequence of the ride, you actually spin around freely in your cart while on the roller coaster. And for anyone with kids, just to let you know, that has one of the shortest height requirements in the entire park. Also in Egypt, one of our main attractions, the tan and blue roller coaster known as Montu. 
Montu is named after the Egyptian god of war, and rightfully so. It'll take you up over 160 feet into the air, and then drop you down screaming at about 62 miles per hour. You also notice there's something very special about Montu. It's upside down. That's because it's an inverted roller coaster, which means you don't sit on top of the track, you dangle below it as you go through seven different inversions, meaning you go upside down seven times. Also make sure that if you have any hats or loose items, you don't take it on this ride because I call this place the Hat Graveyard. If you look out there, I'm sure you will find at least three because we pick up at least ten a day. With that, we are now entering the animal area. Please keep all hands, feet, and other appendages inside the train at all times, once again, and remain seated as the E-Land antelope. It is the largest of the antelope species, weighing up to one ton, but even at that size, it can still jump 10 feet straight up into the air from a near standing start. We also have one of our zebra species out there, known as the Grevy zebra. It lives mainly in the hillsides and mountains of Africa, and if you saw, it does not have stripes that go all the way around its body. It has a bare white stomach. That is unlike most other zebra species. Also on the hill to the left, the tall, long-necked creatures, known only as the reticulated giraffe, or the Somalian giraffe, because they are from Somalia. The male of the species can stand up to 18 feet tall, making it the tallest land mammal on the planet. They can also see up to 360 degrees around their heads because of where their eyes are placed, and they do practically everything in an upright position. This includes eating, drinking, sleeping, and of course, giving birth, which means a baby giraffe's first view of the world is a six foot free fall straight to the ground. Also coming up on the left side, we have the white and tan animals known as the Adax antelope. The Adax antelope are the rarest of all antelope species. There's only about 300 left in the wild as of 2016. I also call them the chameleons of the Serengeti because they aren't always that color, folks. During the colder months, they turn light brown in order to retain heat. But during the hot months, like the summer months here in Florida, they actually turn entirely white. Out there to the left side, we have another zebra species. That one's known as the Grant Zebra. The Grant Zebra is one of the smallest and one of the most common of all the zebra species. And they live mainly in the plains of Africa. As you can see, they have big bold stripes that go all the way around their bodies, but those stripes are not black and white, folks. They're actually dark brown and white. You can usually tell how old a zebra is because on the day it's born, it comes out light brown with white stripes, and when it's really, really old, those stripes, stripes get almost black in color. Three. We also have what looks like a giant boulder with a pipe sticking out of it. Those are actually ostriches. They are our female redneck ostriches. They can stand up to nine feet tall and run up to 42 miles per hour. Now, the reason they're called the redneck ostrich is because the male of the species has a pink hue on its neck and on its legs. The females, as you can see, are entirely gray in color. Aquatic creatures, however, they will run to water if they feel threatened by a predator and do secrete an oil that protects their skin and fur from that water. African dialect means roar, and well, roar she does. That's because the track of Kumba, unlike most roller coasters, is completely hollow. That's right, folks. Roller coasters such as Tigris and Shikra have sand compact in the center to dampen the noise, but Kumba, they left that part out. Kumba has a maximum height of 138 feet and maximum speed of 60 miles per hour. It also puts you upside down seven different times, just like Montu. building its dining areas, but it was also just rated number three in all theme park restaurants in the entire United States. Wow. 
That's right. That means it beat out most of the restaurants owned by the mouse in Orlando. Smack cam! Now, as its name suggests, it does specialize in barbecue items like barbecue pulled pork, barbecue chicken, barbecue ribs, and sometimes a nice apple cobbler. But as I always recommend, do not eat Zambia until after you've gone on what I call the big boy rides. That includes Sheikra with a 200 foot drop and Tigris, which goes backwards about 65 miles per hour. I promise you, if you put Zambia in before you go on those rides, it will come back out on those rides. Please collect all personal belongings and all children, or pick your favorite one. We don't judge here. Just make sure you come back for them at the end of the day, because if you don't, they're going in the lost and found basket. But that's only if they're kids. If they're teenagers, they're going in the lost and found cage. Now folks, please remain seated until we come to a full and complete stop in the station. My name is Matt, once again your conductor and guide located at the very, 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 very back of the train. And we are here. You are now safe to exit on the platform side. Oh, leaving Bush Gardens. What do you got? <laughs> Say hi. hi. Say like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. Bush Gardens 21 and 22 out. Nothing? Thank you.